right. Blah 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 Hello guys, and welcome back to Golden Sun. Um, now two things just quick before we get started, because you know I like to complain, and I like to try new things. First of all, oh my god, my room is so hot right now. And not just because I'm in a her her her, no. Um, because the ventilation in my room never really worked well. So while the rest of the room, the rest of the house can be cool, mine will be like an oven. And second of all, the way I'm cooling down is I have, one second, this is going to make a, an opening sound. I have Pepsi next. <laughs> oh, that's so good. <laughs> Actually, no, it's not that great. But the reason I bring it to your attention, what kind of beverage that I am drinking is because, well, for those of you that have ever seen the anime Tiger and Bunny, that's the, uh, that's the, the, the... The Pepsi that's uh, advertised. Before we go in, remember how Neonpo is saying we gotta use force. Force push in order to get through the jungle. Well, this is gonna show you why. Mogul Forest. So, what you wanna do with these guys is you go up to the stump that they've jumped in and you use force. And if they're a green guy, they'll run off and show you which direction you need to go. If they're not a green guy, they'll attack you. And that's all you need to know about this area. The rest of it is just a maze. And it's... Going through this place is like pulling teeth. And funnily enough, I just had my teeth pulled. Oh, the other thing is, if you want to get the goodies, try the other routes. Don't just follow those guys. So that's what we're going to be doing this entire episode. Just going through this labyrinth painstakingly, just trying all the exits. Like, see... We know those are, that's just going to lead to another. It's like, it's like the Forest of Seasons in Oracle of Seasons. Or it's like the, uh, the, uh, what's it called? Um, the Ghost Forest in Final Fantasy VI. Except those are fun. This is just tedium. I'm actually going to do it this way, I think. And then, I don't know, Mia, you can use froth or something. I don't know. <laughs> Um, oh yes, quick note as well about cutting out the battles. I know I, I said when we were going up to Emil or Emir or whatever that I was going to cut out some of, battle, some of the battles. But these battles are over so quick. I mean, look at this. It's, we're we're going to be done with this in two rounds. So there's no reason for me to cut them out when we're going through them this quick. Like, look, battle's done. It took no time. We're not looking, watching a cut quick. Uh, we're not watching a cutscene when we're getting into it, so there's no reason to cut that out. And then when the battle it takes five seconds, there's no reason to cut that out. Yeah, see, this just loops back around to the starting place, so we're gonna end up following that monster anyway. Uh, thing is, though, later on, I'm gonna be running for most of these battles too because they're just tedious. Later on, there's gonna be a monster we don't follow, and it's gonna lead us to a pretty good treasure, but it's not that great anyway. But anyway, since I'm calling this episode Pulling Teeth, her her her, because it's like pulling teeth, and I just had my teeth to my wisdom teeth pulled, I'm gonna tell you guys instead about having my wisdom teeth pulled. Because I think that is interesting. Much more interesting this, than this forest. See now this yellow guy's gonna pop out and he's gonna attack us. And he's an ape. And honestly, just just bash him with physical attacks. There's no need to waste your side energy on this guy. I think he takes like 150 damage or something. Which, at this point, we're doing like at least 30 damage with our weakest people. So there's no reason to even bother with side energy. Okay, maybe it's 250. I don't know. If one of you wants to do the math and find out, be my guest. Be a guest. Be a guest. Put our service to the test. <laughs> um, but anyway. Oh, darn, I can't reach that from here. I can never remember how to get that knot. I think you have to be above it. Anyway, last Monday, 
I went in at about 10 o'clock in the morning to Central Mass Oral Surgery and had my wisdom teeth pulled. Now I know that seems lame, but here's the funny part. Uh, I went with my stepmom and OX girlfriend. That's not the funny part. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Uh, no, um... The funny part is that... Well, I was anesthetized. And one of the things that I want to do with this is... Well, first of all, tell you guys what it's like to be anesthetized. Because I don't know how many of you have gone through that process. It was pretty cool. It's pretty scary, but it was pretty cool for me. Um... But I also, also, I just want to record that for posterity's sake. I just want to record my own experiences before I forget about them. I have no idea how to get that nut, then. Because <laughs> we can't reach it with catch. I think that's the only nut I've never figured out how to get. Um, but basically, what ended up was I went in there and they set me down on... It was basically a dentist chair. A bit more ornate, like it only had a side... Uh, it only had an arm on one side so that they could actually get at my mouth and operate. Uh, but it, yeah, it was pretty much a regular dentist chair. Now, here's the funny bit. The, f the thing I find the funniest is that they sit me in there, and last time I was in there, they had a bunch of charts up on the... F they, they had a, f a flat screen TV r uh, sitting right in front of the, uh, the chair. And when I had been in there last, they had a bunch of charts and papers on me, uh, so they could just look at them. Now, what they had this time was very interesting. What they had this time was they actually had uh, uh, an image of a calm beach in the sunset, <laughs> with the waves lapping up against the the pearly beaches, <laughs> or what have you, and if you've never seen uh, Soylent Green, you still probably, this still probably won't spoil anything for you, but close your ears if you don't want to hear it. In Soylent Green, right before uh, the guy goes into the people, pro the Soylent Green processing plant and finds out that Soylent Green is people, uh, his, he actually ends the way he actually does that is he tracks the corpse of his friend after he goes through a, do a doctor-assisted suicide thing. So basically a suicide booth, like in Futurama, um, where people who feel like they've outlived their usefulness or just don't want to deal with life anymore, they go into this booth and they play pretty much exactly the same scene I had seen in the doctor's office. and. It's like the last image they see before they die. So, Oh, it's girl who was actually in there at that point, and I'm like, I'm, I'm looking at her, and I'm like, this is like soil the green. <laughs> Get me out of here. Uh, it was great. It was great though, because like the thing that I was most worried about was having a, an IV put in me. Because the way that they anesthetize you is they put an IV in you. Ooh, mad growth. It's basically an upgraded growth. It's pretty good, and. They basically pump you full of... Aha, here's here's the thing we wanted to get. Isaac checked the chest and gave an apple. I believe this just raises attack. Yeah. Um, we're not going to end up giving it to Mia or Ivan because they're not really going to benefit from boosting attack. I'm going to give it to Garrett. Is Isaac and or Ivan and Mia are basically going to be using synergy by the end of the game. They're not going to be using physical attacks as much. Um, but no, it was great because they, they, it, it didn't even feel like they put a needle in me to put the IV in. It just they held up my arm and they're like, "Okay, get ready." And there was it was like someone took their hand and just like slapped my arm. It didn't even feel like a needle being pushed in or anything. And the IV was in, and it felt almost like water trickling down my arm more than anything else when they pumped the stuff in. Like, this is crazy to me. I never I never would have imagined this is what stuff what this was like. Um yeah, we wanna move that. Oh shoot. We screwed that up. Uh, it's okay, we can fix that. If uh, I think if we just go out and back in we can fix that. Yeah, there we go cool, because we want to move it to that hole. Um, but basically, uh, 
it was just really interesting to be under as well. Because uh, my dad described it to me because he had to go under when he had his wisdom teeth removed and like 14 other teeth when he was like 18. Um, and he described it as, you're literally going to fall asleep, then wake up. And that's not what happened. It was like an hour operation, and I was still awake for all of it. It was pretty funny when I was going under, too, because, uh, I was looking at, <laughs> I was looking at the, uh, uh, what's his, the surgeon, because I was kind of panicking, but I was still calm at the same time, and I wanted to, like, reach out to him and be like, you're going to protect me, right? <laughs> It's just the silliest thing, you know? Um, we don't want to go that way yet. What we want to do is save our quest. Uh, right here. Yeah, save all this file. And I believe... Yeah, this guy. Darn it! This guy attacks us. Oh, well, we can do this. Um... Sleet. Uh, Gust. Fever. I got the dreaded disco fever. Um But no, I didn't even I didn't even I didn't le even lose aware. I lost awareness of what was really happening to me. But I didn't lose consciousness, which that to me is the scary part. <laughs> um more than anything. Actually, we're going to go with Ramses cuz who has I think Nia does. Uh, we're gonna go with Ramses and Kirin because you have Forge and you have Granite and you're both gonna go first. Alright, that'll work. Um, but like, I could feel them. I could feel them working on my mouth while I was sitting. I could, I could hear them talking about me. It was more like what you always hear an out-of-body experience is like, rather than what you always hear going under and having surgery is like. It was just phenomenal for that reason. And like that's why I, that's why I'm telling you guys about this as well as recording it because I want to I want to remember that as well. Like if I remember that it was like an out, an out of body experience, then I'll I'll remember the feeling that I had during it. All right, quartz is pretty good. It basically acts as uh you know phoenix the Esper from Final Fantasy VI. It basically acts as that, except you can only revive one downed ally. Now this is what we wanted to wait for, because now we actually have a way to revive downed allies besides using the very few and far between Waters of Life. So this guy's really important, so... Yeah, I'm glad I kept him with Mia, actually. I'm glad I'm keeping him with Mia, because she is the healer, after all. Um... But, uh, again, I, I'm gonna just keep stressing this. This is why it was so important that I record this. And again, I just think it's really cool. Um... Because, again, it, it's just so different from what you hear for the norm. And we do have a boss fight coming up. Was that This area was actually a lot shorter than I remember, unless I'm wrong. Ugh! Yeah, screw it. I'm fleeing from the bone warriors. I'm gonna draw out this guy, because I believe... Yeah, we gotta get you out, and then you're gonna... Sh you, we gotta hit you in the other one, and you're gonna show us the way. Not that it's that big of a deal, because we could figure it out in five seconds, but I wanna, I wanna, I wanna do the entire game, you know? I don't wanna just goof around. Okay, I wasn't sure if this was the guy who attacked us or not. Uh, anyway, I'm gonna try down here first. I don't think this actually leads us anywhere. No. Alright. So, we'll just go your way! <sighs> but after afterwards, it was pretty much exactly what people would say. Um, my stepmom was like, oh... To my to Alex's girlfriend, she was like, "Oh, you're gonna you're gonna get so many I love yous from him. He's gonna be so miserable and just not know what's going on." And it's like I, I knew what was going on. Like I really did. Um, because I knew what to expect. I've been I've been 
being out of it is not as big of a deal as she she thought it would be because I'm, I'm used to being out of it. I spend half my life do it being out of it. <laughs> no, um, I don't know. I was joking with the nurse once I was up and everything. Uh, took a while for the anesthesia to wear off. It was mostly a numb lip more than anything else. Ooh, level 12 wonder. Everybody's leveling up like crazy. Like hotcakes. Uh, you. Everyone else is good. I think it's the middle one who shows us where to go. But we're gonna check all the paths anyway, because... That's what I do. Oh no, you show us where to go. Oh no, don't you both show us where to go? Well, that was a miss. <laughs> uh, God, it is so hot in my room. Yeah, and then the top one doesn't lead anywhere, I don't think. But we'll check. We'll check anyway. Jeez, it's like getting through Tom Bombadil's forest in uh, the Game Boy Advance version of Lord of the Rings. I don't know if any of you have played that other than me. I actually had a broken copy when I was a kid, and you couldn't get past the line Mines of Moria. So I ended up playing that game because it would freeze once you got to halfway through Mines of Moria. So I ended up playing that, the first half of that game like four or five times, just trying to figure out if it was something that I could get around. All right, it's this way we want to go. Yep, there we go. Um, so I, I, I actually kind of like that game a lot now, just because I ended up playing it multiple times. So I, I also know that game inside and out, up to the Mines of Moria. <laughs> If you asked me to go any farther than that, I wouldn't know what to do. I know, like, every secret in the first half of the game, which is just wild. Aha! Elven shirt! Now... No, no, no. We're gonna give it to... We should give it to Isaac, because then he basically becomes Link. Uh, Synergy armor. Yes. And we'll equip Garrett with the Synergy armor to boost his PP. Her, her, her! Give this to someone else. And yeah, no one else needs it. Yeah, it's kind of useless now, but whatever. Whatever. That treasure from the guy who was in Colima. Alright, this is the last. This is the last screen, so. Do, 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 do. I like this music. Like, I know it shows up everywhere. I know it showed up, like, in the Mercury Lighthouse Eerie and everything. But I like it. It's calming. It's nice. It's... nice. <laughs> Alrighty. Moving along. Singing our song all day long. No, oh, I just want to escape. I just want to escape. I do not want to fight you. Just let me go, please. It's been it's been a fun, uh, an interesting road to recovery. I mean, I pretty much got sick of pasta after the few, first few days, so I, I I started eating more solid things probably a little too early. But really, whatever. It's not the. Oh, that's right. Um, I'm actually going in tomorrow back for a follow up appointment because it seems in the top right side of my mouth. There's a little bit of exposed bone or tooth. And they said if you feel anything sharp or... Oh! <laughs> here's, the, here's the boss I was talking about. But anyway, they said if you feel any sh anything sharp or hard in your mouth, they give them a call. So I did, and I'm making an appointment for tomorrow. So this game, this um, episode might be up a little late just because of that. But anyway, um, I'm actually going to set all the gin... Because, you know, it always gives us a little... Actually, I'm gonna not set granite, because that... You'll you'll see my strategy right... You'll, you'll see my strategy for what I like to do f for bosses. Anyway, we go down this way, and... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh! Rut-row! <laughs> Rut-row raggy! We have to fight Killer Ape! <laughs> Oh, look at that mug. He is a blue guy. <laughs> He's a blue guy. Is that really the best I can go with? Uh, 
Kieran, I believe he's Earth Elemental too, so Garrett's going to be doing most of the damage. Uh, Ivan, you're going to be doing crap. And Mia, you're probably going to be on healing duty. Crap, I forgot to heal before I did this. Oh well, it's not that big of a deal. He's not that hard of a boss. Now that we have Quartz. Whatever. Yeah, look at it, look at it. Less than 50 damage for all of them as soon as long as we use granite, we're good. <laughs> like it pretty, it pretty much gives us a free turn for every boss battle. And look at that, 240 damage. It's probably gonna do. Oh, we have not seen this guy yet. I don't think we haven't seen either of those guys. These guys are third level summons. Means they're gonna be doing a lot more damage. I don't know if Procking always does four hits, but we've already got this guy down like. Oh, we've already done like 400 damage to this guy, so I'm not really too worried. It's like 500 damage right there, 550. So we're doing pretty good. Uh, let's see. I'm actually going to use Cure on you, Ivan. Ooh, Heat Wave. I forgot we learned that. That is, that is a really good uh, single attack, that's all. Uh, but I think... Oh, wait. Go back. Oh, we don't have any of the items for that. Uh, any of the single-use items to hurt enemies, we don't have any of those. Um, yeah, use Heat Wave. I don't think we do. Uh, I'm actually going to use a Sleep Bomb on him, on the off chance it actually does work. It probably won't, but if it does, that would be so fantastic. Oh, good. Okay, so Bind basically blocks your Synergy, and it has a nasty effect of hitting. <laughs> oh, cool, he's asleep. I don't think it really helps us, because I think as soon as he gets hit, he wakes up, but... No, he doesn't. Okay, cool, so we might have a couple of turns to just beat this guy down. This may end up being the easiest boss that we ever have to fight. Alright. Isaac, you set off a Spire. Uh, we don't need a Breeze because he does mostly physical attacks. Go with a Volcano. Uh, don't worry about that. Wind Slash. And Mad Growth! Oh man, it's been great. Um, I'm going to miss it tomorrow though because I've, I've got the uh, appointment. But... We're actually watching the original old, like, 1939, I want to say? No, 1932 or something. Frankenstein in my literary studies class. And we filled Killer Ape! And nobody gets <laughs> nobody gets a level up. We actually get a douse drop. Uh, whereas Garrett's got it. And this bestows, bestows douse when equipped. So you remember that a while ago we couldn't use douse without switching around Jin. Now we can. So, I'm always going to leave that on Mia, because, you know, she's the she's the water type. She can actually use it in battle, even though it's not that good. But we are finally out of the forest, and that is my least favorite part of the game by far. And I don't know if any of you are going to end up watching this who don't watch the LP, but the game definitely picks up after this. Yeah, screw you guys. No! 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 I must sing a dirge for Isaac, for he was hit by a dirge. Uh, but next time, we will be checking out what this little town here is on Let's Play Golden Sun with Neo X Foo. Take it easy, guys.